Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Elena and today I have a very large thrift haul for you all. This bag full and all, oh my god, all of this right here. Like it's massive and it's a lot of color wise in most fits. It's a lot of summer and spring pieces even though we're getting to fall but a lot of this I will transfer into the fall season. There is one specific item that's really good for the fall but I have been collecting these things and buying these things over the past I think ever since maybe like April or May. So it's been like three to four months. Places I went to were Savers and then two times I went to another place called Retail 101. If you're from the state of Connecticut, it's this retail store in the town of Naugatuck. It's awesome. They have like free people, anthropology, all that stuff. Most of the items in this haul, I forget some of the prices, but I know on average most of them were no higher than $15.99 or less. So it ranged from like $15.99 all the way down to like $2, $3, something of that nature. There's only one item I'm going to show you that was $34.99. Um, and I will go over that. But for the most part, I won't be naming prices because that was pretty much the price range. What I'm going to basically do, I'm just going to hold up each piece and be like, I got this, I got this. Just give you like a really quick, like, look at this cute, look at this cute. But then I'm going to try it on and go into more detail when I try it on. Starting off with the haul, I'm going to start off with this stunning little clutch. It's just got all these beads and jewels all over it in sequins. It is stunning. I actually found it at an estate sale for $12. And on the inside, it does have a very long chain, so you can wear it really long or you can wear it very short. I just think it's so much fun to put with outfits. This thing are these really cool silk flared pants. Paisley pattern. I think Paisley is just a really cool pattern. These silk flared pants, I love wearing these to work, but they're purple, black, and green, and they have flowers all over them. I think they're really groovy, and I think they're really cool, and I always get a lot of compliments on them. This is like a denim oversized shirt, but I wear it as a dress, but it's kind of short up top, or up front, so I just wear bike shorts underneath it, and I've worn it like once so far. But honestly, it's really comfy and baggy, and it's kind of cute, and I don't know, it kind of just gives like a little bit of a tomboy effortless vibe. Next is this blue kind of paisley pattern skirt. I really am into like longer skirts down to the ankles or down to like, like mid calf. So I got this. Again with the skirts, I also got this one. This one is more fall color, so this will be really good for the fall time, but I am wearing it a lot now, especially to work. It's very long, it's stunning, it goes more mid calf. The next thing I got, I also got this like kind of multicolored flannel um, a few months ago. It's got like bandana pattern on it, whatever this pattern is, and like stripe pattern. It's really cool and I've gotten a lot of compliments on it. I just really love shirts like this, just what I call chessy shirts, this silk button up. It's also kind of a flowery paisley pattern. I really love like patterns like this and I absolutely love like the burnt orange like red color on it. Next thing is this white blouse. This really goes with anything. I really love what they call peasant tops and just tops that have really big puffy sleeves as well. I think they're just really stunning. Next time I actually got recently, it's like this knit tank and it's just like this tan color. I don't know if you can see it um, in this footage, but it just has like some beading right here. I just thought it'd be really cute with like a pair of jeans for like a really casual effortless look. I got this very sparkly tank. It's cropped. I love it. I think it's really groovy and really cool to wear for like nights out. Next thing I got was this pink cropped tank. Um, it's fairly thick. Really good basic to go with like those really funky pants that I showed you or skirts. I think it's actually the thing that I was talking about before. This was the most expensive thing for $34.99. It's from Free People. It originally was $278 and it's perfect for the full time and I'm going to sweat when I put it on but it's got like all this patchwork detailing all over it. Corduroy floral detailing. It's really cute. It's this long jumpsuit. Next thing I got, I also got this t-shirt. I am a sucker for t-shirts. I should do like a t-shirt like haul tour something soon because or like my t-shirt collection video because I have like 30 but this t-shirt is a smoky mountain t-shirt with an eagle on it it's orange I love it I also like how it's not super oversized because I tend to get very 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 oversized t-shirt next thing I got is actually this workout top it's very comfy it's purple I don't know what brand it is it's very stretchy but yeah it's these American no faded glory brand uh denim jeans I was really in need of denim jeans and I found these terry cloth orange bathing suit cover up. I wore it when I went to like George's bathing suit cover up. I really love it. I think it's really cute and I like how like fun it is in orange. Next thing I got is this stunning little skirt. It's actually my favorite thing at the moment. It's another one of those long skirts and it has like bandana 
patterns all over it i've gotten a lot of compliments on it and it's very comfy i'm going to show you i have not worn or tried on because i just got them today but the first thing is this and it ties up at the front i really do like shirts like i really like the thought of this with like flare jeans just tied up front it's very stevie next to me next thing i got is actually another basic it's just this green tank top but i'm always on the lookout for basics especially because i like to wear these under like cardigans underneath my chesty shirt stuff like that and i just think this is really nice and it, this color goes with like a lot of bottoms and skirts that i have so i got this it's very stretchy and it feels very comfortable i found this romper and i thought this would be really cute with my like white gobo -go boots i thrifted years ago so yeah i'm hoping it fits and it looks cute also on the sparkly side and i got this one because i was like okay i could definitely wear this for new year's eve it's really fun and cute but also even though i have another vision for this outfit there is a halloween costume i want to do which i'm going to go over halloween costume videos soon but this I thought might be a good backup if I don't find the right outfit for my Priscilla Presley costume because I do want to be Priscilla for one of the nights I go out for Halloween this year. But it's this very like baby doll-esque dress, sequined sparkly dress. I think it's so much fun and even if I don't wear it for Halloween, I'm definitely planning to wear it for New Year's and or my birthday which is January 18th. So I just know I'm going to wear it and I can't wait because it looks really cute. Black uh, wide leg denim jeans they're solid there's no holes or anything not that that's a bad thing i just have a few jeans that have holes in them but i don't have black denim jeans okay and last but not least i'm really hoping this works out but this is actually an orange knitted romper and i was like, okay this could be cute for the fall if i put it with nylons or tights and my boots so we're hoping that this area is not too tiny or short enough at the bottom and that i can get with tights or very very thin leggings so that was all I got for the past few months for this thrift haul. So next we're going to move in to what they look like on me and kind of how I would style them. A very simple style them, not like go out go crazy with accessories, but just like a general idea of how I would style them. Okay, so this is what the dress looks like. It is literally like, that is so stunning. I love it. It's so much fun. I love the fit. I also love how it has ribbons for the straps i think ribbons are really cute for straps uh i have these two boots i wasn't really sure which ones to go with i think the black is just cuter i feel like it allows the dress to do its thing okay here is the romper it's gray and sparkly i'm definitely wearing it to the gimme gimme disco with these boots right here this is exactly how I would pair it and i really like this it's really comfortable it's really light and airy so when i'm dancing and sweating my butt off I'm gonna be fine and I think these boots look perfect with it the only thing is it is quite short in the back to some people it might not be but I think the thing is that it's so loose that my the bottom of my butt it's she's just right there you know and I don't know maybe I'm not seeing it correctly but I feel like the back the cutout is kind of flattering here is the jumpsuit <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna go paint like walls with this on but I, I love it it fits really good around the waist it's like got baggier arms but i just the pattern of it is so cute i'm also dripping with sweat i just think it's so cute and it's so much fun and this is going to be just beyond purge for fall and i didn't realize i didn't have a collar i thought it did so i feel like when i have it like this it looks very weird i want to somehow try to train it to just sit like this next i paired that green tank top which fits really good i really like it i really like the color it's like a sage green i think it's just i don't know i feel like it's flattering i kind of like how it has the stitching down the middle a good staple to go with anything like this skirt i'd probably wear it with my brown cowgirl boots i have next we have that very very light pink cropped tank top with this bandana pattern skirt i actually would pair this with a bag like this i know like color wise the multicolored of it really clashes a bit with the skirt and i feel like and now that i think about it this skirt does take away from this and vice versa but i also just think it's really cute like i don't know before i put this tank top away i would also pair it with these pattern pants i think pattern pants like this would be really cool with some fun tops but i also like just the idea of having like simple on crazy if you know what i'm saying these are the next two items this is the white blouse i think it's stunning i think it's so beautiful the skirt in particular i've worn to work i feel like the pattern of it 
it's very nice for work. It's got definitely fall colors in it, so that's why I think it'll be really nice for the fall time. But I really like pairing it together like this. This would be like the type of outfit I would wear to like a farmer's market, flea market. I wear it as a dress with bike shorts underneath. I pair it with just like some chunkier kind of white sneakers. I feel like it would be cute with my brown Converse too, but I just have, when I wore this, I wore my hair like slicked back with gold hoops and that was it. I feel like it's like kind of like a casual look, but it's kind of cute. So this is the next two pieces. Um, these silk pants are so comfy. They fit, fit perfectly up top too. So comfy. They are just this fun purple, orange, pink and red color. And it's a paisley pattern. I think paisley is fun. Chevron and paisley to die for. I would definitely pair these pants with a neutral top, like that pink one I had on earlier. Anything of that nature. But I feel like it's also fun to pair it with like a crazier top. You know what I'm saying? Um, so this pink dim down so this pink top very sparkly very fun i think it's really cute especially for a night out like an outfit like this is a lot of fun to dance in this top i really like a lot i like the cut of it i like the way it fits and the sparkles in the color i took off these pants and realized i wanted to showcase these together i don't know if they even go well i think because there's orange in these pants it's a lot of fun and also actually the way that these fit and this fit looks frumpy and I also look like I'm wearing pajamas so maybe this is maybe this is a fat no like silk pants that look dressier with just a t-shirt I feel like are a lot of fun next we have these three items so first are these denim shorts they are they don't look that loose right now I feel like I'm so sweaty that things are just feeling very tight but they're like they're kind of a good fit like they get kind of loose around the waist but they go mid thigh and i really like shorts that are mid thigh i just personally like that a lot better than short shorts i think they're just comfier I pair this with a shirt i'm about to show you and again denim shorts go with anything but um i just want to show you this shirt this is honestly a workout tank top that i wear especially if i'm doing like my pilates or my yoga workouts i wear this tank top because it's easy breezy beautiful cover girl this shirt right here i love it. it's stunning and um <laughs> ew. it's giving it's giving camp counselor it's giving camp counselor who does arts and crafts it's a zoo under here it is a hot and sweaty zoo under here this is the romper it's <laughs> quite sweaty. I just want to say one of my favorite details of it is the circle, um, what do you call this? What do you call this? Circle zipper. I love a good circle zipper, especially a big one. The collar is very huge. I thought this whole area was going to be some thin, tiny little thong moment, but I do think wearing tights underneath this is going to be perfection with some black high boots like the ones I wore in the first try on outfit I did. This tank top, I love it. It's stunning. I actually really like these black jeans are kind of like light black um i would wear a tank top underneath this because it's kind of knit and see-through but i'm not gonna do that so i'm just gonna cover these <laughs> it's like a really cute tank top it's got like a little beading on it i think it's just really lovely um these black jeans are actually a fairly good fit they are wide leg i thought they were gonna be like wide skater jeans but they're not they're more of a flare I feel like they were supposed to fit as a skater jean, but on my body type, they do not. This tank top, I would honestly, I wish I had like a long white skirt. I think that would look really nice with a shirt like this. It would give very much coastal vibes. And the sleeves on this is so stunning. I would wear a tank top underneath this, but I just don't have the capacity right now to do such a thing. So I will be covering again but look at the sleeves look how stunning that is just like simple little tie blouses like this that you could just throw over like a tank top a dress anything of that nature a pair of flares with it it's very 70s i love it i'm so excited that i found this i have seen a lot of people just wear silk tops one button and that's it and i really like that type of look and i really want to try that I must say, to wear this out in public like this, I one feel like the button's gonna come apart, but I really like that look. I don't know, I think it's really kind of hot. Maybe not on me. I don't know, I'm not feeling the best right now, I'm not gonna lie to you. I 
don't know. What do you think? What are we thinking? Okay. This is the last thing. It is my orange terry cloth beach cover up. This is exactly how I wore it with just some stupid trashy flops that are breaking with my black bathing suit underneath and this cowgirl hat to Lake George, which I vlogged. It's only seven minutes, so check it out. That's the end of this thrift haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, couldn't tell you what my favorite item is. There's too many to count. I'm gonna probably edit this and think to myself, why did you style some of those pieces that way? And I think the answer is simple. I'm sweating, I'm hot, and I'm not processing or thinking correctly right now. Bye.